Hey guys, Sasha Bain Tech, and I want to show you a video of how to kind of customize your home screen with Zuper Widget. Now I get a lot of questions of how I got this Google it, search bar, Google search widget here. And it's a Zuper widget and you can kind of customize it and do some colors and whatnot. So I'm going to start from scratch, kind of show you how to do it and get rid of all my widgets. Kind of let you know how I do what I do. So alright, so first of all you're going to go to the Play Store and download Zuper Widget. Uh, Pro. Make sure you get the Pro one because you get a lot more features with that. It's a paid app, but it's worth getting. So just head over to the Play Store. I'll show you what it looks like real quick. Zuper Widget Pro. There is a free one, but like I said, get the the Pro version. I can't remember how much it costs because I already paid for it. It doesn't show the price, but it's from my color screen. That's the developer name. And then when you're done with that, like all you have to do is search. Just go into the search bar and type in Zuper. And then you're going to get a ton of different selections here. There's a lot of Zuper widgets. And the one I'm going to be talking about is Feature Zuper widget. And that's how I get my Google search bar and whatnot. So when you get it all downloaded and stuff, just head over to your home screen. Again, this is a blank, clean slate now. Long press on your home screen. I have Nova Launcher, by the way, so I can long press on my home screen. It makes it a lot easier. I like Nova a lot. And then scroll on down to Zuper widget Pro. And I like to, for this one, I'm going to use the 4x1. And this is where you hit resize or tap to start. So I'm going to tap to start. And any of your Zuper widgets are going to show up in this list here. So I've got a couple. There are also some built-in ones here. But let's do future Zuper. And there's a couple Google It um, widgets that you can add. And I like the one that has the microphone off to the side. So we're going to select it. Now with my background, the red outline doesn't really look that great. So that's why I customize it and this is how you customize it. Go into layout and these are all the different aspects of the widget itself. Everything that's included. The line, the circle, the microphone, the line on the other side of the circle, and also the Google it. So <laughs> Google, I am not talking to you. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so as you can see Freaking Google thought I was talking to it, so, but this is what the widget looks like without customizing it or doing anything. Let's try this again. That took a second to do, but here we go, resize. Let's go back to Future Zuper. Go back to this guy here, layout, and let's just work our way from the top all the way to the bottom. Left wing, which is going to be this line on the left side of the microphone. Now you can give it a module name if you want to. You can actually move it around with the offsets. And you can kind of barely see it move around. And you can move it up and down and so forth. So that's how you customize that part. A module on tap, that's basically what that does. You can customize it to open up whatever you want. And I go over here for this particular part. I just go down to the Google search. And there's that part, then you got the color. And this is where you choose a color. Try to get that top corner for the all white. Select it right there. And that's pretty much it. There's not much else that I do with this particular one, but there's a, obviously a lot more that you can do with it. So hit your back button, and as you can see, it changed the color to white up here. So let's move on. You know, the text here already has you know the color that I want so I'm not going to necessarily do that one as far as change the colors but again okay so moving on we are going to go to the right wing and I'm going to hit the module again just in case I want to select that area of the widget and select that again and come back down to the color change the color and you can see it changed it to white hit my back, moving on to the circle. You just kind of do this for every part that you want. You can really definitely customize this stuff to really do what you need it to do. Change the color to white. Hit my back. Now the, the Google Voice, that is the microphone there so you can change the color and stuff. And I'm going to change the module to go to the voice search part. 
and it doesn't change the color because it is a actual picture go to the text now I'm not going to change the color but I am going to change the module I want all that area to do the same thing so I'm just going to continue to use the, the Google part and you can actually go back into this and move the words around if you want so if you want them closer together further apart you can actually edit the text itself and change it around here so if you wanted it to say something else you can do it that way that's each individual word to mess around with and for this part I'm just changing the action and this is actually all good right here so that is how you customize it when you're all done you can either save it for future you can save the file so if something gets lost or uh, you want to start over or something like that or you like this one and you can actually save it to your phone with that option up here but when you're done that's all you have to do then just move it where you want and that goes to the Google part so it's pretty cool and then the other widget that I normally have on this screen is dash clock and that's what you're normally seeing on my phone and stuff and you just resize it to get to the info that you want so that's the basics of how I get my Google it widget that's where it's from it's from Zuper widget and you can definitely do a lot more customizations be on the lookout for some more Zuper widget videos I'm going to do some more customization stuff like that here in the near future and actually it's going to be part of my home screen makeover series so definitely um, stay tuned for that if you like this video hit that thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please do so so you can see more videos like this